Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn about the longest common substring. Uh, to understand the longest common substring, first try to understand what the substring is. For example, I have been given a string like money. So the substring that can be generated from the money may be M or M O or M O N or M O N E or M O N Y or it may be O N or O N E Y or O or N E or N E Y. In fact, O is also the substring of this. N is also the substring of this. Similarly, we can start with E and E Y is also the substring. So you see, these are the substring. Means uh, substring means given a string, anything that appears in the sequence from the string is actually the substring of the given string. If we haven't given two strings, for example, B, C, A, F, C, F, and another string, let's say A, B, C, A, B, F. So if these are the strings given to us and uh, uh, it is being asked to us that what is the longest common substring out of this, so how will you find that? Let's try to find out. There is a BCA here and there is a BCA here also. So in sequence we have these two substring in the common. So we have to find out what is the longest common substring from the given two strings. Okay. To find this we will be employing the dynamic programming solution and the dynamic programming solution that we are considering is a two dimensional dynamic programming solution because we will be taking, a, taking use of or we will be making use of the uh, memoization table and memoization table will have a size of 2 fine so on in the memoization table on the row, uh, on one side we will take this string on the another side we will take this string okay let's say this is the memoization table number of characters in the first string are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 you can either keep it on the row side or column side, whatever you like. So, six characters have to be on the column side. Let's say B, C, A, F, C, F have been taken on the column side. And on the row side, you can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 again for the second string. So, A, B, C, A, B, and F, F on the row side. Uh, in most of the solutions that we have discussed uh, for the dynamic programming, we are making use of the extra row and the extra column also. So suppose this is the extra row which has a row number 0 and this is the extra column which has a column number 0. Okay? So uh, if I have uh, the first string as 0 and second string also as 0, 0 means null string the length of the longest common substring will be 0 and uh, in case these are the num they have numbered these strings let's say and let's say we have numbered this also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 ok now uh, in case we have uh, second string is null or second string does not have anything in that case if the if the first string is this one we will have nothing in common so the length of the longest common substring will be zero similarly if i have uh, if many a characters let's say a is the character with the first string or second string in a string in, uh, in the first string i have nothing but in the second string i have a so the length of the common substring will be 0. Similarly, if I have a, b and nothing in the first string, then also the length will be 0. Similarly, if I have, we have a, b, c, there will be nothing in the common. a, b, c, a, nothing in the common. a, b, c, a, b, nothing in the common. a, b, c, a, b, f, nothing in the common. Because the first string does not have any character. Okay. Now, Let's say we are going to make the entries in this table. For making the entries in this table, we, we should uh, 
actually try to find a comparison between the characters of the both character of both the strings. So while making the comparisons, suppose we are thinking that we have the only A in the second string. Okay, if we have only A in the second string and we have only B in the first string, there is no match. So since there is no match, the length of the substring will be zero. For this one and this one, A and C, in, in, in the first string we have A, the second string, uh, sorry, the first string is PC and second string is only A. So there is no comparison of this and this. So length of substring is zero. Now there is a match of this one and this one, A and A. Since there is a match of A and A, one character has matched, so diagonal value, is whichever it was, has been updated or has been incremented by one. And we now have one as the length of the common substring. So we are taking the values from the diagonal. And then after this, A and F, there is no match, so it is zero. We are taking the diagonal value. So if this is A and C, we now are taking the uh, that there is no so we have not taken the diagonal there. There is no match, so it is zero. So if there is no match A and C, it is zero. A and F, there is no match, it will be zero. Then B and B, there is a match. We are considering that the second string has A B. First string is only B. So for B and B, there is a match. So it is. For how we are taking this? The diagonal value plus one. Whatever was the diagonal value plus one. If there is no match, B and C, there is no match, zero. B and A, no match, zero. B and F, no match, zero. B and C, no match, zero. B and F, no match, zero. Okay, then we have C and B, no match, zero. C and C match. So if there is a match, I am taking a diagonal value and incrementing that by one. For C and A, no match, zero. For C and F, no match, zero. For C and C, there is a match. So diagonal value plus one. Diagonal value is zero plus one. C and F, there is no match. So it is zero. Now I have A, and A and B has no match, so zero. A and C has no match, so zero. A and A has a match. So diagonal value is two plus one, this is three. Then A and F, no match. A and C, no match. A and F, no match. Now B. B and B has a match, so diagonal value plus 1, diagonal value is 0. For B and C, no match, B and A, no match, B and F, no match, B and C, no match, B and F, no match. Now uh, for this F, F and B has no match, F and C has no match, F and A has no match, F and F has match, so diagonal value plus 1. Now F and C has no match, F and F has a match, so diagonal value plus 1. So this is the table that we have cons uh, constructed. After constructing this table, you will refer to the largest entry in the table that will be telling you the largest uh, or the length of the largest substring. So maximum value here is 3. If you need to find out where, uh, what is the what is the string that you have uh, in the common, so so this is the largest value A is considered. You took it from here. So this is also considered. Now you took it from here. Now this is also considered. Okay. Now after this you have a zero. So zero has no meaning. You have actually gone from zero to one whenever there was a match. So this is the character that you consider. And this is the character, it means C, and this is the character, it means B. So B, C, A is this longest common substring. How did you find out this table? Uh, if you consider that uh, there was a match of the string character. So if uh, ith character of let's say string 1, let's say string 2, has matched with the jth character of string 1. How, why are we are taking that str2 on the i side? Because on the row side we have taken the second string. On the column side we have taken the uh, first string. Okay, So I am considering that j is varying towards the column and i is varying towards the row. 
so second for the second string if ith character has a match with the jth character then we are taking the diagonal entry it means i was referring to the table ij entry and diagonal entry here will be di minus 1 j minus 1 and 1 is incremented or 1 is updated as a count uh, whatever was the count of the diagonal has been incremented by 1 and that has been set as the tij entry okay and in case this this match is not there so this tij will be set as 0 okay now uh, let us write the algorithm for the same the uh, longest common substring is the function and in this function let's say str1 is the first string given and str2 is the second string given uh, let's consider that the first string has a length m and the second string has a length m so while solving this question if you have observed that we have considered that the first character of the first string is null or it is a space or blank and similarly first character in the second string is also blank so we consider that uh, this was given as an input to us that the first character is space and if the first character is not the space you consider it from your side that is, that is a space fine now we need to have a table which will have a size n plus 1 and n plus 1 fine we need extra row and extra column that's why the table size has been considered as n plus 1 and m plus 1 all the entries of this table is required to be updated as 0 okay actually we need the first row and the first column entries to be defined as 0 but uh, for that we will require a loop so just to avoid that loop what we have done that all the entries of the table has been initialized to 0 after doing so we will make the comparisons so we have to find out the entire table for finding out the entries of the entire table I need to have a nested loop so for i equals to 1 to n do okay. and then for j equals to 1 to n do we need to do a, a very small correction if you can understand the first string is taken on the column side and the second string is taken on the row side or you can take otherwise also so just because of that the n is replaced by m and m is replaced by n okay because we have taken the second string of the row side now after this we are going to make a comparison if the jth character of the second string has a match with the ith character of first string it means we need to update the value of tij as diagonal entry plus one okay and otherwise the tij entry since there is no match of the character from both the string has been set as 0 okay and now once the loop will finish I will have the information about what is the length of the longest common substring so you just find out let's say maximum of this table Okay, you have been given a table you just try to find out the maximum of this table and whatever is the maximum of this table is the length of the longest common substring you return that L right? so this is the algorithm for longest common substring thank you